I've come to five. They are, they are. We're racing. I'm trying to talk to people on the game drive radio at the same time and make sure we don't fall into a hole. Hold on. They mobile back towards uh, the drainage just to the west of Arathizamati. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> this is why wild dogs are chaotic. A force of chaos. There they go. Are they? They're all hopping up and down so they can see over the grass. There they go. Okay, we can't get through this drainage, unfortunately. These Maklola are now mobile south. They've just crossed the drainage. Oh, goodness. All right, hold on, everybody. They are such exciting animals. There goes one. Uh, there. <laughs> okay, there's no way we can drive through here, unfortunately. We're going to do more damage. That's a big pregnant female. Looks like it might have been her. Quick, quick, quick. Back we go. Oh, wonderful. The other guides are here now, so we might have some help. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way around. I hope we don't lose them. Oh, that's a big rock. Let's not drive onto that. Tristan was telling me the terrifying ta tale of his off-road sinkhole experience. It made me very nervous. Apparently, he's a the ground just disappeared beneath him. It's something I'm quite familiar with. Whee! Back again. I just found them here. Then they were there. Now they're back there. There goes my hat. With complete with microphone. Sorry. Bump. Sorry. Just <laughs> Sebastian clinging on for dear life. It's another bump. I didn't see that one. Saw that one. I've never thrown a cameraman off. Yet. Oh, apparently a whole load of them are going back towards the dam. Can you believe it? Oh, goodness. Okay. There's only three. All right. Let's just hold on. Let's uh, go back to the dam then, I guess. And then once we have one more view, then we're going to have to make our way out. Whee! Oh, dear. I might have made the wrong decision here. Well, let's see. They're wild dogs. They could be anywhere. Hold on. Bump. I regret taking this route. But let's not jump to conclusions. Whee! Um, just a Steve's pan. Please repeat. No negative. I'm just trying to get around. Last visual I had was going south across the drainage. Chaos! Chaos reigns! I'm just chatting to the other guides. They want to know if I've got them. I want to know if they've got them. Okay. I don't know if we've picked the right route. Those dogs could go back on themselves. I wonder. Let's just check around here, just in case. Otherwise, we're going to have to sit and listen. Ah, 
uh, Jenny, the most endangered canine in Africa is called an Ethiopian wolf or a red wolf and they are found solely in the mountainous areas of Ethiopia as far as I know. Oh, hello, there's a person there. Cool. Well, there's no point in us both checking here. Let's go back the way we came. It's an animal that I dream of seeing because I first there's an impala staring that way. Well spotted. This was the an animal that I read about when I was a child in a series of children's books and it sparked an interest. I would love to see one. Impala's looking nervous but not terrified. Impala don't stand still when they see wild dogs. Okay, our wild dogs are going to be thinking about going to bed soon. Uh, Tristan's decided to do a quick exploration of Cheetah Plains before his lions awake. Just in time because it looks as though they're going to cross onto Elephant Plains. There we go, off they go, trotting out. Perfect, there's the alpha male with his injury on his hip. Very, very easily identifiable. Good to see him around. Oh, look at that springy step. Look at them loping. They've just got so much energy. Okay, I'm just gonna go back ever so slightly. I think that's the last of them. Oh wait, they're going back south. No, they're going to the west. Oh, well, they're more behind us there, Seb. Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> one's just popped out in front of us. I love that. They just look so full of, they look so healthy and full of energy. They make me ev envious of their level of fitness. Off they go. We can't unfortunately follow them if they, see if there's more that come this way. Our Phoebe. Did you see the way that their white tails stand out as they bounce along? That's why they have them. Because they, as I've said, they're not enormous animals. They're quite, they're quite tiny animals. And when they go racing through the bush, they need to be able to keep track of each other. So one of the best ways, especially in long grass, is to have a white tipped tail. And because they don't rely on ambush techniques, They're gone, I'm afraid. That's it. Because they don't rely on ambush techniques, they don't need to be subtle about their whole approach. So the waving white tail is a great way of following each other. I'm just listening to the radio at the same time. I'm hoping these pups decide to come back. But that to the west of us is Elephant Plains and there's nothing we could do here, unfortunately. Okay, as we say goodbye to our dogs, James has found a bird that apparently he likes to imitate. <laughs> 